In Austria, we had just this year already 14 femicides. More women are killed than men. More women are killed simply because they are women, because of their gender. So it's clear, crystal clear, we have to do something against this terrific violence. And to declare gender-based violence as a year crime is an efficient means to go for the better. We need a legal base, so really a definition in our criminal law books, where it's written, if violence, if gender-based violence is happening, if a woman is attacked simply because she's a woman, that there is a clear sanction. So it's the clear formulation as it is done in our law books. If gender-based violence, violence is applied against women, then a sanction has to be followed. Of course, criminal law and the sanction is defined in the national criminal law books, but what we are developing and working out right now is defining it as a Euro crime, which means having facts, figures, minimum standards that oblige the national legislator to have a punishment, to have a conclusion, to have a crystal clear sanction afterwards. The Istanbul Convention is the golden standard of uh, protecting women against violence. Why? It's about prevention, it's about protection, it's about punishment. It's the full program that is the task of all authorities. It is the task of the government, of the state, of all public uh, authorities to protect women against this violence. So violence is not a private uh, question. Violence against women is a question where systematically authorities have to react. For us today, the 25th of May should become the day for the protection of women against violence. While we are mourning all those victims on the 25th of November uh, who are suffering under violence, so the International Day Against Violence Against Women is the 25th November, but we want for the future a bright day, the 25th uh, of May, a day where we show what we can do in order to protect women properly.